Nissan now. Five new Nissans. More excitement than ever. Choose the 38 MPG Altima with 0% APR for up to 60 months. Or get a $239 per month lease on road. Nissan. Innovation that excites. Shop ChooseNissan.com. It's award season. So what do Dodge and I have in common? They love a four-wheel drive. I love a four-letter word. Dodge is fabulous engineers. I mean, they're so good. I have hired them to do my next face. I used to babysit the Dodge brothers. Awful kids. Anyhow, I gotta go. My face is melting. Ice, I need ice. During the award season event, get $3,500 total cash allowance on select 2014 Dodge Journey models. Live from the station taking action for you, this is ABC Action News. <laughs> Right now at 11, a vicious fight breaking out as students get out of school. Tonight, a family fed up saying enough is enough. I want a statement to be made that this cannot continue. Why they say this proves violence at one school is getting out of control. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. The family of that young girl badly beaten in that video is demanding better security to protect other students. Our Alex Hobson was the only reporter to get her hands on that video and has more tonight from St. Petersburg. I basically have a hole through my lip. Sore, face scratched, lips swollen. 11th grader Kwamari Neal had to go to the emergency room yesterday. After this, the vicious beating captured on camera and then posted to Facebook happened outside of Gibbs High School. Neil says she was jumped by four girls because she stood up for another student who was getting bullied. They decided to take their frustrations out on me because I was trying to help her. Yay! Pummeled with punches, one of the students actually uses a lock to hit Neil in the face. All I could do was just think about what could have happened. Bobette Clark is Neil's grandmother, and when she saw the clip, she knew something needed to be done. A Gibbs grad herself, she feels school violence has spiraled out of control. I want a statement to be made that this cannot continue. Pinellas County School Board member Renee Flowers echoed that same statement less than two months ago when we showed her this. Yet another fight caught on camera. This one in a Gibbs High School classroom. And I just don't want to see that become the branding for students in Pinellas County because that's not what we're about. But finding a solution is the tough part. Clark believes it's going to take more security and many more mentors. It didn't help in her scenario, but it may in somebody else's. This bullying has just got to stop.